don't I just cry, feel baby. like don't no, cry. no, no, no. I just, I just feel like it's just, it's just so hard to find a good friend around here. I know, baby. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fucking lying, I bitch. Know. All I need is my baby, and that's it. Put the shades on, baby. Put the yeah, shades it's on. Getting, it's about to get real shady up in here because mm-hmm. I'm tired of holding my goddamn tongue. Yeah. That's what I'm tired of. Yeah. I'm tired of these fake ass friends. And I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of always taking the high road. Yeah. I'm tired of it. being the mature one. Mm, I'm tired of always giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm tired. What are you tired, baby? I'm not being my truest petty self because yeah. Lord, only Lord knows. Only Lord. God knows God how much knows. I hold back. Damn. A lot of oh, niggas would have got their difference. they, they would have got their ass beat if mm. we want to be real. But I'm not in real you. life. Yeah. Not just talking about it on social media. You know what I'm saying? In real life. You have to go that low and call me names because you hurting about your pockets. I let people in our house, telling people our business, inviting them around our family. Like I'm tired of this shit. Y'all all are fake as fuck. Fuck your bitch in the click you claim. West side when we ride, come and ah! <laughs> We hit a million subscribers! <laughs> Y'all, oh my god, baby. Can you believe it? We did it? Wait, travel back to a second okay. to 2019. Damn. When we first took the leap of faith on our YouTube channel. Damn. And imagine Wait, where me- we are I, now. Remember, I was in my back house. You were in your back house. I was living with my brother and a whole leap of people in my apartment. It was a little brokey. A little oh my brokey. God. We was big brokey. We big brokey. We was big brokey. With a lot of followers. With but, a lot of followers. But, but we decided to yes. take that freaking leap of faith, y'all. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it, man. We came from blood, sweat, tears. We did it all and we and we owe it all to you guys. Thank you guys so much for really investing in us when it comes to just yes. watching us. Yes, investing like, in us, taking, going uh, through so many yes. emotions with us, breakups with us. Damn, we, we did break up, baby. We dra- the drama. The drama. The, oh my gosh. Like, yes. I feel like y'all really know us and mm-hmm. you really did watch us start from the bottom start and get to where bottom. we are right now. Right now, and baby, you look like a million subscribers. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you look good. You know what? I was just trying to match your fly. Hey, man. Hey, man, baby. <laughs> Chill out. You look good, man. When I say a million subscribers, like, just feels like it's a different level. It you does. know what I'm saying? It's a different type of level. It is. And you, you know? know what? You know what? It smells a little different up here. It do smell a little different. It, it smells a little different. You know what they say? They mm. say on your... You know, on your rise to the top, yeah. you know, people just gonna start acting different. And I feel like as soon as we hit a million subscribers, she was we started switched. losing friends. friends. And if you aren't watching, I'm doing air quotations air quotes, around friends. friends. You know what? Let me put these on, baby. I got some. I got some. There, there it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Put the hold on, shades hold on. on, baby. Put the shades yeah, it's on. Getting, it's about to get real shady up in here because mm-hmm. I'm tired of holding my goddamn tongue. Yeah. That's what I'm tired of. Yeah. I'm tired of these fake ass friends. And I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of always taking the high road. Yeah. I'm Let's tired of it. being the mature one. Mm, I'm tired of always giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm tired. What are you tired, baby? Of not being my truest petty self. Because yeah. Lord, only Lord knows. Only Lord. God knows God how much knows. I hold back. Damn, and baby is petty. If y'all was on a journey from the beginning, baby used to do her little petty videos. And when I tell y'all, I got my pettiness from her because behind closed doors, baby got it. Listen. You know what I'm saying? But she's 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 evolved now. And I'm evolved. But it's, it's time to tap, tap, hey, tap in though. I just saw a meme the other day that was like, look, what? I said I'm healing, not healed. Yeah. Do not test me. Don't test baby. And I related more than I can tell you. Baby, I'm sick of it. Damn, man. Why is it when you get like bigger and like, I guess in I, it's not even just the industry. I just feel like when you get, when you become more evolved, you're more tapped in with yourself. People start hating Testing on you even, even more. more, bro. I feel Why? like literally, you know what? You hear the rumors, you hear the rumors of yeah. how fake this industry is. Jeez. And I swear to God, don't put it on my God. I know. No, don't right. even, don't it even do even it. God, it's not God's fault. Yeah, it's, it's not, not God's fault. It's not. It's not. But yeah, it but. is so true how fake this industry is. Yeah, when it comes to just people just lying on you, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? When it comes to when it comes to people just backstabbing mm. you, when it comes to people scheming on you, you mm. think they're your friend and really they're only your friend if you got something to offer them. Yeah. And as soon as you ain't just handing stuff out anymore, things switch up. They switch the fuck up. Let's talk about it. Cause mm. I've been going through a lot, baby. 
I already like, know, honey. You know, it's it's it's. Let me take these off because you know these is just just for it's props at this point, man. Times is hard, and it is it sucks because it's like I really be trying to be a real friend. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? I and know, like, baby. Damn. I know you've been going through trials and tribulations, but damn. guess who's gonna be here no matter what? Mm-hmm. Oh, through the baby? fake friends, through the fake friends, through the haters uniting like Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin, Hater Rates, right? Hey, hey, hater Rangers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like damn, like what should we call them? Like shit, what? Wait, baby, I'm. I be searching and that's my problem I be searching for real friends and I need to know the definition of an actual fake friend before I can have a real friend so you know that you saying? know so you can identify Ex- when these friends are real so exactly. let's talk about it let's talk about it what's what's your definition of a fake friend honestly honestly like a fake cause you've been friend, through some shit you've been through some shit hey and you know I'm gonna see yeah. y'all as a mile away yeah and all these little fakies all yeah. these little fakies yeah and listen I just want y'all to know I saw you I saw you from a mile away. She did. I did. I Bro, did. How do you, I did. I called it. When I tell y'all, Natalie is so tapped in and she gives me the four warnings like way ahead of time. But me, I'd be so excited about friendships because I love people. Yeah, she's yes. just a sweet heart. She's Man. a sweet. I mean, you know what? She fuck. she she'll she'll turn up on you if you deserve it. But really it and takes truly, a lot, it does though. take a lot. And really and truly, she be just trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. So listen, okay. I'm gonna give you a crash course right now so you can see it. Okay, come tell me, baby. Before tell me. next, you know what I mean? Okay, all right. What is it? Tell so, me. What's a fake first friend, of all, baby? You know, uh, you know, a friend is okay, fake, right? But a fake friend slash red flags in a all friend. Right. You know, a friend is fake. Okay, if they come to you. Mm-hmm. Talking about the other friends Ooh. or trying to spill some tea about somebody else's life when you didn't even ask them. And they want to yeah. tell you, I would never really say this. I just really trust you. Bitch, I know you fucking I don't lie. even know you like that. I don't even know you. Why are you telling me they business? Why? So if you're telling me they business, you're telling other people my business. I don't trust you. Fake friend. Red flag. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I got one. I got one. I feel like a fake friend is somebody that like only seeks to be your friendship for opportunity mm. and, and you as can long feel as it. you're giving them something yes exactly that's a fake friend you can spot them my way wait red flag literally red flag. a fake friend a fake is friend? whenever you know when you just meet somebody yeah y'all are having some good energy yeah. you know you're having some good laughs and mm-hmm. they automatically start wanting to tell you they love you okay oh first baby, of all I, I, oh my god baby i can relate to that so much. oh yo that's a good one First that's a good of all, one. That's a good do one. Do not listen. Do yeah. not tell me you love me if you don't mean it. Yeah. And you can't really mean it if you don't really know me. I really that? take that so seriously. I feel yeah. like love is such a strong word. And I can't, there's nothing worse than somebody being like, okay, love you. Bye. And mm. like, really, you die. I know you don't love me because like, if, even if me. I really needed you, I know you're not going to pop up for yeah. me like this person right here that really loves me. And will. And will. And will. And, and, did. and do. And do. Always. <laughs> and forever. <laughs> <laughs> Locked in. Always and forever, baby. Yes, All baby. right, give me another one. What's another? Ooh. Like, because this is for y'all too. I want yes. y'all to know this is how you look out for a fake friend. And if you got any weirdos in your corner, look for these little red flags. I got one. Mm-hmm. When you confide in a friend, right? <sighs> And they literally, you're telling them everything because you think that they're your friend, right? Yeah. You're telling them your secrets. You feel like, I got, you know, I could trust you. Right. But then if you have an argument or maybe y'all, you know what? You realize y'all ain't really good friends. Right. Y'all fall out and they go tell your ops, your business. That's crazy. Out of spite though. But that's spite. Crazy. It's weird. No, it's weird. It's weird. weird. It's weird and it's crazy to yes. me. Because not only did you, what, that to me Jeez. just showed that not only are you not a good friend, you're just not a good person. person. Yeah. Because that's what, oh, wait, I got a good one. What? I what? got a good one. What, 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 what? Say it. You know, okay, this is a fake ass person. So, okay. like, you fall out with your friend, right? Okay. And then they immediately go and start flirting with your partner under their instagram post and like oh. trying and saying like dm me and all this other <laughs> weird shit Bro, you thought what it's- the fuck <laughs> yo first of all it's repulsive bro i literally i can't even believe it you know what i'm saying i really can't believe that people do that and like i don't understand i don't think y'all understand what she's saying like literally <laughs> your friend is not cool with you no more so they try to go get at your girl or your man 
Mind you, they in a relationship. In a relationship. I'm like, what is your end game? It's not just fake. It just shows that you are like the slithering Mm. snake. It's like an ick. It's so gross. It's It's gross. And honestly, to me, it's laughable. And it's also like, first of all. We go laugh at that shit First of all, (laughs) ew. Second of all, ew. ew. Like, (laughs) just absolutely not. I would never do that. Like, I am... I, I'm a, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not yeah. that type of girl. And even if I was, <laughs> not to you. Yeah. We, anyway. we laugh at that shit, though. We do laugh at we it. But did. it's just like, what? But it's crazy. So, yeah. Honestly, there's so many examples of how people really will tr- really truly show yeah. you their true colors um, after you fall out with them. And then guess what? You, all you have to know is that you dodged a bullet. Because, listen, I'm going to be the same person and a friendship that I am outside. Now, yeah. we might have our disagreements, and not everyone is meant for each other. But one thing that I'm not going to do is turn into a shady fucking weirdo. Yeah. I'm not going to start trying to talk to your your partner or uh, posting about you and calling you names and all this. other Because that's weird. just not who I was in the friendship. So maybe I'm not going to fuck with you like that. So like, yeah, cool. We don't really talk. Mm-hmm. I, if I see you, you know, we, we're not even really going to be no be, beef. But it like, don't got to be beef. We they be creating it, though. They create the beef. They create the beef. And I feel like, damn, like, okay, if we fall out as friends and we're not compatible as friends, why is it that you now are trying to curate beef? You know what another fake friend is? Mm. It's somebody that's you could feel that's been hating on you. You know what I'm saying? And you just kind of keep them at a distance, but they feel somebody else don't like you, so they hop on a bandwagon. So that's why, fake, why do they, like, mighty morph? Power Ranger, that shit. I don't I'm, know, bro. Is it? Is you think it's like a misery loves company? Yes, type that's thing? exactly what it is. It's because misery, lo- it's literally misery loves company. Why are you laughing? Because it's fucking weird. <laughs> I can't believe. Honestly, I would say this is some high school shit, but I feel yeah. like it's worse now. I feel like it's worse than it was yeah. in high school because at least you have the you have the excuse that we're children in high school, right? But when you're a grown ass adult and most of these people are actually older than us, yeah. it's like what is really going on? Like, like you would yeah. think with time you would just become right a little more evolved i think a little bit more i think that's the problem though i think that people aren't really tapped into who they are as human beings mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying they don't know who they are you know what i'm saying at 34 you know what i'm saying but like it's like at the end of the day you got to find yourself and know who you are you know what i'm saying exactly. and do a lot of digging because that person that you are is disgusting. And now you're morphing into somebody else's personality. Well, just, to, also, just to, because misery loves company. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they not they on the hate train. Let me hop on it too and dig some secrets out that she told me that had nothing to do with me. But I'm, I am i don't fuck with her either. Like, Absolutely. What? And honestly, that is only a temporary band-aid for yeah. if you're true unhappiness. Mm-hmm. And that's and, I, and I, I'm saying this from like a concerned place and not right. from like a petty place anymore. Yeah. Like now let's really talk about it. Yeah. Whenever you decide to go and randomly become friends with somebody that you've been talking shit about That's because weird. they also don't, we, you know, we don't all vibe. Right. Yeah. And now you want to, you know, make videos and try to like <laughs> kiki with the person and stuff like it. It's, it's only going to feel good in the moment. Yeah. But when you go home and you lay your head on that pillow, that misery you're still, pillow, that miserable pillow, you're still going to feel that ick inside of you because it's not about Emptiness. it's it's not about anything except for the fact that like you just need some time with yourself mm-hmm. and it's okay for people to fall out but it's just the way that people go about it that mm-hmm. is just so strange like can you just fall can we just decide we just aren't friends we're not gonna be cool and we're not compatible and we're no. not compatible as friends like can yeah. we just decide that and it doesn't have to be on some i'm going and trying to talk shit about you and chase clout online now because that that's is the weird. thing that's the thing and I think it is because we do have a, you know, a big platform, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when something doesn't go their way, the ops, the, the people that envy you, you know what I'm saying? When it doesn't go their way, it's like, oh yeah, let me expose them. You know what I'm but saying? It's, it's oh it, I know it's weird, and, but, but that's, know, that's what comes with it. Because you that's know, what, hold on, let me finish this. That's what, ahead. that's what comes with it though. Mm-hmm. And people used to say that to us, oh, this industry is weird. And it's, it's like this. And it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like it's, 
a lot of people experience this, experience this, but being on that higher stature of just having followers, you really see people are really fake when it just comes to followers. Imagine Beyonce, bro. Oh my God. Imagine, imagine That's why you don't see her with nobody. Exactly. Cause it's like, damn, you can't trust nobody. Cause you really think you could buy it in a friend and they praying on your downfall. Right. It's like, damn. Damn, now you gotta be broken, miserable by yourself. Cause I was trying to uplift you. I was trying to give you the pointers. Like, why? Sheesh. And that's the crazy thing, too, is Shit. because I really feel like, as friends, you know, the type of friends that I feel like we are is. Really, we're just looking for friendship. No, that's our problem. We're not doing that shit no more. We we're not work. looking for friendships. Right. We're not. It's, it's the simple fact that we trust people. We can, we're not looking for mm -hmm. shit no more. Yeah. And I'm tired of us doing that. Mm -hmm. we, we be giving people, letting people in our house, telling people our business, inviting them around our family. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Y'all all are fake as fuck. Like, super fake. And I'm tired of dealing with people in my face. And I'm not seeking no friendships no more. We ain't seeking no friendships no nah, more. Nah, you gotta say. Like, and that's what, and trust and nobody. what you really hear, what you really hear is, first of all, it's not like you turn cold. It's not like you turn. Well, you know the shit I'm going no, through. No, like, I like, absolutely, damn. absolutely, absolutely. But you know, I'm always going to be here to be your sounding board, mm -hmm. and we're going to bounce ideas off of each other and stuff. And it's not that <sighs> when you go through something, it's not that God wants you to close your heart off to yeah. everybody. It's just about keeping your circle tight, yeah, and not just allowing everyone in. And I think naturally, the type of people we are is like it's not like we're going out like seeking, like begging people to be our friends. But we, I think, because we have good intentions for people, we expect that they're are gonna yeah. have good intentions for us as well and we get excited to be around other people that, that we're like real, that seem genuine. real and fun and mm -hmm. exciting and stuff like that and it doesn't take long for you to realize people's true colors at least it doesn't take me that long and I think what hurts the most is when you were being genuine yeah. when you were being genuine to them and then you end up finding out they're doing some like ruthless shit and I'm just gonna I'm gonna get into it I'm gonna get into it because <sighs> You know, Black. let's use the SLA house as an example. So if you guys don't know, I filmed a show and I produced it. I edited it. It's called Studs Los Angeles, a.k.a. SLA. And, you know, I wanted to, you know, get a group of girls and put them together, masculine presenting women, and show the world that we can all get along, have a good time. There's going to be pranks, challenges. And, of course, when you put people in the house, it's going to be a little spice and everything nice. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I didn't think that when it came to the show that they majority of all of them would stab me in the back because I'm so genuine. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like not only was I providing so much for them, especially of the main source of uh, – for You the, went above and beyond for them. Yeah. First of all, I'm I, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really am not super confrontational. I try mm -hmm. to keep my opinion out of things, especially online, but yeah, y'all know Nat, Nat don't say nothing. Nat, Nat don't, she keep her mouth closed. It'd be usually me and popping people off. people really like, be Damn. trying to get me to say shit too. And I still just, but yeah. you know what? When I see such wrongdoings, I'm going to speak up. First of all, Easy really did go into that house and like try to create real friendships and bonds with yeah. these women. She went above and beyond for them on the show, spent so mm -hmm. much money doing more than she needed to for people on the show and then yeah. after the show really just showering people like one thing that about my baby is she's really the, the way she shows her love is she is is buying you gifts and like trying to take care of you and yeah. stuff like that that was ever since before she even had money like that because mm -hmm. like she used to just do little thoughful things and make me little baskets when i was sick yeah, you back in that? the day remember yeah the little lollipop and, the the little champagne. Lollipop and champagne and you know? stuff like that so, so now that i got money it'd be like damn like so why not share buying, this you know what i'm saying she's buying people can I say or I mean it's it's we can say well, you can say whatever you want baby I, it's right. just not about what it's I not, bought but not, I just, that's the thing it's, it's not, not it's not know? but I'm I, I I just need them to know at okay. this point all right go ahead <laughs> it's the fact that you know she's not only taking care of them and like paying she's the type of friend that's gonna pay for everybody's food she's gonna be the type of friend that makes sure that you're good and then yeah. if she really like cares about you she's gonna go above and beyond like if she feels you're lacking anywhere whether your phone your screen on your phone is broken she's fixing the twins phone because her screen was broken yeah. she's going and buying your clothes got holes in it and stuff like that because you don't got it like that she's gonna take you on a shopping spree and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to clothe two grown-ass women She's going to go above and beyond and she's not even going to be posting this shit because it's not for that. It's because she genuinely cares about you. 
she genuinely wants to do things to show that love for you. Like mm -hmm. she really starts loving people immediately, like their family. And it's crazy to me because she'll go and she'll buy, buy six grown ass women or it was six girls six. chains and then they want to be talking shit about her and trying to beef with her, but still wearing the chain that I bought you. Yeah. That's crazy to me. It's crazy. Yeah. And honestly, it's really sad. And I, and, and the point of this video mm -hmm. is really and truly just to shed some light. I want to turn something so negative into something positive. And we, I want to have a discussion with y'all about what to, how to, how to attract, attract good friends, yeah. how to avoid bad friends mm -hmm. and how to carry yourself differently. So you don't get hurt 24 seven and look like me like a dummy. No, Cause it's not like, look dumb. I mean, I don't look dumb. It's just because it's like, I think what people and how people look at me, and this is why I don't like mentioning what I do because they then think I only do it for like a pat on the back or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I do love to give, but I, I don't necessarily just give like, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, physical in the physical. What is it? Um, yeah, like valuable, tangible, no, no, not tangible, but, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, I'm not just a person that's giving out um, the physical form, whatever. Tangible. Tangible. I'm not just giving out things that are just tangible just mm -hmm. to give them out and not also giving love and emotion, you know, behind it and actual friendship. That's the part that hurts me the most. So it's like, I feel like for me, it's not just about the tangible things. You know what I'm saying? And I think because I give tangible things out, people only look at me for monetary gain when it comes to just the the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she got money. She just be buying this stuff. But I also, but it's weird too because they'll yeah, act so grateful be shedding real tears. Exactly. Shedding real tears or whatever. But it's also the fact that I'm a good person behind that too. That's the part that hurts the most. Like, fuck all the clothes I bought you. Fuck me getting you a new phone and getting it fixed or whatever. The the, the diamond necklaces that I bought you, paying for you, you know, it's, it's just so much stuff that I could pay for. I'm also a good friend too. And when I even try to reach out to be a friend, you know what I'm you saying? Try to, to those, uplift them. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a stab in my back. Like, oh, you ain't do that much for me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was just this and just that. I mean, yeah, you did look up, look out here, but it wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. damn, like, you and know? then and then beggars start turning into choosers and yeah. complaining about the way the way that you looked out. But you were yeah. shedding real tears when I did it because you were talking about how nobody has looked out for you like that or how nobody donated to your surgery. <laughs> but 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 oh this God. friend that wasn't even that close to you at the time, but. It, listen, I it's, a, about it. it's, a lot. it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. And it's not. <sighs> It's sad. It's sad for me on my end because I'll be really caring. And the thing is, too, for me, I'm not going to cut you off right away because I'm a Taurus and I know how I am. You know what I'm saying? You be trying I'm to give people to, the benefit of the I doubt. I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I always try to do that first before I go like, all right, I'm cutting you off. Mm -hmm. So if I feel something, I'm going to reach out to you and I'm like, yo, you good? Let's I'm going to check on it. you. And, and if you saying nothing's like, I'm good, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel something. It's like, all right, cool. But then when you just cut me off out of nowhere after saying you're going to give me Rob, it's like, well, damn, let's talk about it then. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Let's, let's really talk about it. You feel me? People out here like acting super grateful when it's when it's beneficial to them, but then and when any chance they but get, we'll say just, some crazy shit talking about they're gonna give me rob. Like what? But that's really what's crazy to me. And, and then link and up, and then link up with, with 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 other people that's feeling ungrateful as well. Right. And then make videos. You notice how they all come together <laughs> and make videos Mighty together. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm telling you, that's what we gotta call them. Mighty Man. Morphin Power Rangers. Because yeah. it's it's really crazy how they morph into now they like each other. But y'all been talking crap about this. It's like y'all been talking shit. We've been talking shit. So let's link up, head ass. But Ooh. you know what? But you know what? The thing is, is like what God is going to do mm -hmm. is really always look out for us. So even though it hurts in the moment, and that's what I've been telling her, like, because she is like, she's a, she's a lover. So she, it, it does hurt her. She's not just going to be walking around angry about it. She's going to actually be hurt. She's going to be yeah. shedding tears about this shit because it sucks when you genuinely care about somebody and they mm -hmm. turn around and slap you in the face. Yeah. And I've been telling her, like, look. God is preparing you for the circle that is meant to be around you, mm -hmm. period. You can't have wolves and snakes 
in your kingdom, baby. Okay, baby, feeling it. Oh, you good, baby? We we've already healed. You know? What no, I'm no, no. Oh, I'm pop your fine. shit. Okay, I'm fine. I'm popping my shit. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you can't have these type of people in your kingdom. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. where what you're destined for is is true greatness. Mm-hmm. And Thank you're you, and you're acting through love, and you're acting through God, and you're trying to sh- spread that type of love and stuff like that. And God is gonna show you by action, which hurts. Mm-hmm. Okay, this person isn't. This person doesn't doesn't deserve it that right. person doesn't deserve it so i want y'all to take that in and really mm-hmm. start looking at your circle look at your circle look at your circle because they will prey on your downfall and and when you are trying to be elevated and greatness sometimes that intimidates people you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. sometimes and i had to realize that through natalie like like i was saying i was saying this on twitch not too long ago that you know some people really feel intimidated by people that are over loving because they're mm-hmm. actually genuine about it and maybe they have self-hatred. You know what I'm saying? Some people are envious of, well, how is she making it and getting all these brand deals and making all this money and I'm not? Like, I'm secretly pocket watching you. You know what I'm and, saying? And God's timing is everything. Yes, too. And, and there was a time where Natalie reached out to me, right? That's how our friendship happened. Of course, getting closer, I was getting a lot more, like, notoriety. I was getting a lot more brand deals. I, ma- I was making a lot more money. And at a point, she felt like, well, damn, like, you know, not not no hater shit, but it was just like, well, damn, like, you know, I feel like I'm not, I'm doing everything that I can or whatever. And as real friends, what I did was give her that advice. It's like, it's God's timing. God is going to get you and provide you with the things that you need. And sure enough, she put in that work. She still was doing the same thing. Just keep grinding. And God literally blessed her. And when I say baby's blessed and highly favored, God, damn. Yeah. Lord have mercy on your soul, <laughs> baby. Lord have mercy, boy. Damn. Cause everybody's timing is different. And you don't gotta pray on somebody's pray on somebody else's downfall. Just support them. You know what I'm saying? And it goes, and God gonna support you and they gonna support you. It's like, why you gotta hate on them? You feel me? Jealousy is a real thing in friendships, man. Yeah. I've I've experienced it too many times. Did you? Too many times. Yeah. I just feel like it's it's a lot. And baby, yeah, you're you're an amazing person too. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like not only did God bless you with looks, <laughs> God bless you with some, some hips. You know what I'm saying? With that face card is valid. Aww, God you, baby. really blessed you with a great heart. And I, I was stand on that, like always. And the way that you are as a friend, it's just so admirable. You know what I'm saying? And the things that you've done that I've seen you do, like you literally like, help people get on their feet. People don't know this behind the cloak. Like, like everything isn't on camera. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like a lot of people used to stay in Nat's house. A lot of people used to stay at her house and she was literally helping people. And when it came to sleeping on the couch, it was like, Nat was that friend. And she didn't mm. even have to know you. It was like, yo, come, come sleep on my couch. You can yeah. stay here. You know what I'm saying? Get on your two feet, stay with me. And there's a lot of influencers that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Biggie, remember when I used to let you sleep on the couch type shit? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like the fact that you go above and beyond for people when it comes to sleeping on the couch. And even when it comes to wanting everybody to win. Like, mm-hmm. baby, when, I remember <laughs> when I was first filming with you, bro. I know certain people say, like, all right, that can't come at this point. Because she was literally, every time she would film with somebody, it would be like, all right, I'm bringing everybody with me. Yeah, every, it become a six people on. deep. She got. She might not have followers, but she could probably act and be a background person. Like you was always looking out, and you still always look out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it just feel like because I, I just feel like there's just so there's a, more than enough to go around exactly. for everybody. And I've never been that type of friend who, first of all, I want to be around. I want to be around people doing better than me, right? Or it, either doing the same as me or, or better. better than me. And yep. if I do have friends that are like they're coming up and they're trying to, you know, establish themselves guess what I want you to be on the same level as me I'm gonna do what I can to try to help you you know what I'm saying like I'm not the type of friend that's like I need to you meet people and you'll Mm -hmm. you'll be able to tell there's certain type of people where they want to be the alpha and and, 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 in their in their group they want to only be the only one doing good Mm -hmm. the only one doing things Mm -hmm. and that's not right that's not a real friend and it sucks too because I am that type of person that does want to see other people doing great and and then they be jealous bro They'll be, they'll be jealous and they're like not trying to see that like damn I'm trying to like help you and it's yeah. like behind closed doors talking shit and doing all this other stuff so it's tough there's it's, it's super tough and it sucks because 
I know that we're also, you know, talking about people being fake and it's not that we look at ourselves. I don't want y'all to think that we don't look at ourselves like we can improve. Like for me, I know I can be a better friend when it comes to checking in and tapping in with my friends because I work so hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's not a fake friend to me. But maybe it could be to somebody else. But I feel like for me, the things that I need to work on as a friend is like put more time into take it. Okay, your work is your work, but take time to think about your friends. Take time to think about your family. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I need to work on. And I can say that. You know what I'm saying? And my friends can tell me that and it won't offend me and make me want to talk crap about them behind their back. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not talking about good friends right now or bad friends. Because like you could be a bad friend and not be a fake friend. Yeah. Right now, what we're talking about. So am I a bad friend or a fake friend? No, no, no. I don't think you're a bad friend. I don't think you're either. I think you're a great friend, but you're also a busy friend. So I do. I like that. Like definitely take time as well Mm -hmm. to reflect on what you could do better. And I actually think I could work on the same thing where, you know, just reaching out to your friends a little bit more um, and not, you know, getting too sucked up in your day to day Mm -hmm. work life. Because people do go through things. And I feel like some people do think like, damn, you didn't check in on me. Mm -hmm. And that could be considered to some people like, oh, like she don't even she don't even check in on me. Like, why should I check on her? You know what I'm saying? And we be having parties and we'll invite everybody but it's like and they'll come and show out but it's like what's really going on in their life yeah you know like, and i think mm-hmm. we can do that better and um really prioritize that maybe i don't know if people are thinking that like you know i just just prioritize the things and it's not always like oh you're the person that that's wrong you're the person that's wrong but in this situation y'all motherfuckers are fake and we tired of that shit we tired of it god <laughs> damn yeah you can't even hide your freaking like give you give it give it a year at least Damn, but, but like, you know what's crazy though too is I do want to say this and I want to uh, I honestly wanted to say it earlier that fake friends and like mm. these type of friends it, it's not only in the industry oh yeah and no. it's also not only if you have followers because right. fake friendships have dated back to I mean elementary yeah. school middle school right yeah like, absolutely literally yeah. the that friend that we was talking about which one the oh. one the jealous friend you yeah talk about it baby talk Ooh. about it give, it give them the 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 reality of it. it's like it's gonna be everywhere no it's matter if you're in the street everywhere. if it, your personal life wherever it is but talk to him. i have what? this friend that dates back to childhood days and growing up there were definitely signs i would say of like jealousy and stuff but the type of person I am is like, you know, I, I hope that people grow out of certain things. So I really do try to give them like the benefit of the doubt because I'm not claiming to be perfect. And I know nobody around me is perfect. Right. It's just like, can we grow? Can we grow? Right. And, you know, over time, I noticed that this girl, she wasn't growing. So I ended up going my separate ways with her. And as adults, we link back up. Mm-hmm. And at this point, you know, I was doing certain things in life that she wanted to be doing and didn't know how to get started. And so I was trying to give her that opportunity and right. trying to help her, you know, get her footing in the industry and stuff. And right. honestly, she just ended up stabbing me in the back. God damn, what and it, is it? it? It was just so weird, too, because it was like out of nowhere. But I could always do you feel tell like it was out of nowhere, though. Did it you, wasn't. You? It was me, honestly, like ignoring the God signs. signs, like God sending me these signs. God the already flags. told me hey you know and those red flags are going to get louder and louder and louder and what happened was eventually it was just like yo like I couldn't even tell her anything that good that was happening for me because it was so awkward how jealous she would be or just how just her energy would change Mm -hmm. that I was just like damn like and and that and then from there it just got worse and worse Mm -hmm. and eventually to the point where like we really fell out and we were beefing like damn and do you feel like do you feel like in her eyes you were that fake friend? I mean, I I know there's always two sides to every story. So right. maybe she felt like I could have been doing more for her or something you, like that. You were but doing a lot. I felt like I I personally feel like I did everything that I could. I tried to film with her 24 seven. I tried mm-hmm. to, I, like you said, I was bringing her everywhere with me. Anytime I had an opportunity, I'm bringing you. Right. And and if you don't take advantage of those opportunities and if I'm trying to put you in a position and you don't like do what you got to do, mm-hmm. it's, that's not on me, but I'm sure there's things that she was probably telling herself as well. That made her act the way that she, you know, did. Damn. Yeah. And I, cause on the reason why I asked you is cause I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt. So when somebody hurts me or uh, does something, I always go back to, okay, like, wait, what did I do? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What did I do wrong? And like, maybe I could have done this better. Yeah. And I'm trying to find the things that I need to own up to first. Right. So I can give them a reason soon as if we do get to the point of talking like, Hey, you know what? 
I feel like we're, you know, we're going through it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like we're going through it and it's been a tough time. And I feel like on my end, I could have did this better. Yeah. You know, I could have worked on that. Absolutely. You know? And I and, think that that is such a great thing, that yeah. reflection. And I think I did do that though a yeah. lot throughout the entire friendship. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why as kids, we were friends, we fell out. Then as adults, we became friends again. And, and when it you guys was fell out, long did you give her another chance or she gave you another chance? Because you said you just no, fell out. No, I gave her another chance because okay. the way we fell out, it was clear. I'm not going to go into details but Mm -hmm. she did some real shisty shit and it was very clear that it was wrong and so she apologized and she said she admitted that she was very jealous and it took her a long time but that's a i know that's owning up i know and that's what i thought right so like that's when we became friends again as adults Mm -hmm. because she owned up Mm -hmm. and i thought that you know she had enough time to reflect and change and that i wouldn't see those same issues moving forward and i i still did i still saw those same issues i tried to ignore it we try to sit down and talk about it I tried to come to her about it I journaled and medita- meditated on it and it got to the point where it was just like yeah we're just not compatible I can't yeah. be a friends with somebody who is like I feel like they're praying on my downfall yeah. I can't be friends with somebody who I feel like judges me the way that I felt judged by her and mm-hmm. would hear that she was talking about me where did you hear that she was talking about you from other friends family yeah, members from, like from other friends mm-hmm. um yeah from other friends damn yeah so are they fake for telling you what she was saying when she I confided in them you know what i mm. maybe maybe but they weren't really my friends like that so okay. i didn't i did, i wasn't really concerned with yeah. like oh are you, are you going and saying because they weren't really my friend they were her friends right but maybe they weren't fake maybe they just felt like what she was doing was fake and they were just yeah. like look you know but i don't know because then they were still friends with her afterwards so that's the thing it's that's, difficult. that's for me where it gets weird like we said earlier mm-hmm. It's like you are talking and to me. I don't like talking crap about other people. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're within the same circle. It's weird. Talking it's crap weird, yeah. at all is weird. But I've I've listened to other people other talk people. crap. Yeah. And I felt guilty for even just listening. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, but also for me, it was like mental note. Like, okay, if they're talking about them and they're still hanging out with them, mm-hmm. they're not, they talking about me. But I don't really know that other person like that either. So should I start the drama? I'm going to just, you know, I'm not going to engage. I'm not going, I'm going to see my way out of this conversation type shit. Right. You know or, or try to like a me, like when I've been in situations like that, mm-hmm. I would try to flip it to be like, all right, let me give them advice. advice. Yeah. Instead of I'm not about to just because some people they'll come to you because they genuinely need advice about right. a situation. That's and true. you can tell the difference between somebody talking shit about a mutual friend mm-hmm. or somebody needing kind of some advice on how to deal with a certain situation. And to me, that's fine. Right. right? Yeah. But that's what I'm going to that's my answers to you. Mm-hmm. It's going to be all advice. I'm not about to be talking shit about a mutual friend, because then why are we even friends with this person exactly. if we don't like them? OK, I have a question and mm-hmm. I need some advice. Right. So I had this friend. Right. Um, and I thought this friend was super cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, they literally, um, did something in the industry that I admired and I did something in the industry that they admired. And I think that's how we kind of like linked up and we're friends. It was like, right. damn, you do this. And they were like, Oh, you do this. And it was like, yo, this is so dope. Like, let's like, you know, be cool. And we were like relating on so many different things. Right. 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 But then all of a sudden I started noticing that they were distancing themselves from me and I couldn't, I couldn't understand mm. it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't put like a pin on it. And mm-hmm. I'm just, you know me, I'm trying to think like, well, damn, maybe I did this. Maybe I did that. And I couldn't understand it. So then Um, they invite me to a birthday party or it was like a birthday dinner. You know what I'm saying? Invite me to a birthday dinner and I'm like, okay, so maybe I was just tripping. Maybe they were just busy. Maybe Maybe they're just working. You know what I'm saying? I'm overthinking it constantly. Invite me to the dinner or whatever. Then, um, the girlfriend of her literally confides in me and it was just like, you know, I felt distance from you, but she was lit. So she didn't really kind of get into it. And I'm like, well, why, why'd you feel distant? So I'm not tripping. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So for the, the advice that I'm asking is when we actually got a moment when we weren't drinking, it was like days and days later, weeks and weeks later or whatever. And they actually both confided in me. It was like, yo, look, we think you're an amazing friend and we've been hanging out with you more and more and we just want to tell you something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, what? Like, you know, cause I've been feeling it. Mm-hmm. They literally tell me some, some information to why they were distanced from me. Right. And the information that it was, was, is that somebody else was talking crap about me. Right. Telling them stuff, telling them not to hang out with me because I'm a certain way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they felt bad because once they got to know me even more, they could just tell that wasn't what I, who I was. Mm. So then mm. on top of it, I'm like, well, what did they tell you? And mm. they're like, 
well, they said this. They said you're fake. Mm -hmm. They said that you you do this, you do that. And it was just like, I can't go into specific details. Right. But they were just like, what the other person said, I was in shock. Like, ain't no fucking way. Right. Ain't no way. Mm. So I felt like, okay, so look, this person has a, that, that does not fucking with me mm -hmm. is like, was a friend. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know, was the friend. And because there was a friend, they gave him information that can manipulate in a way to where it feels like, okay, this could be real. And obviously they was close. So it has to be real. Is it, do, does this make sense? I hope I'm, I'm, I'm keeping you here. Yeah. It's making sense, mm -hmm. right? It's only making sense because she knows the fuck what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying though, I started, What's your question, I'm baby? I'm getting there. Listen, <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm getting there. Okay. So I feel like, well, damn, they telling you all this information about me. And it's crazy because I know y'all are mutual friends, but you've never heard me say anything about them. Right. You don't know the drama that we have. Right. You don't know the history because it's not your business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it sucks that they sitting here telling you my business and here's the actual truth. You mm -hmm. know what? Let me confide in you so right. you don't believe this. Right. You know what I'm saying? My actual question and advice that I need uh -huh. is how, I mean, I guess I didn't really have a question. I just wanted to vent. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, but I'm just saying, you better pull I, a question out of okay. somewhere. All right, so listen. We've been waiting for this question. You know, but I just feel like, like, should I have known then yes. that they were, let, let me finish. Should you I, don't got to finish. Listen, baby, let me finish. <laughs> so when they started the red flag, okay, so right. this is the question. I should have known, but when they started <laughs> spilling the tea about what the other person was saying mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, here's a clarification. Here's what this is and what that is. So then when I say all that, mm -hmm. they calling this person fake. They mm -hmm. talking mad shit about him. Mm -hmm. They like, damn, I can't believe I trusted them. Red flag. Like, red flag. Red, red flag. Listen. But, then, but listen. then I see, but then I see, then I see them hang out. All right. A couple of days later. Yeah. Now I'm like, bitch, red I done told you. Not only did I confide in you, and I, not only did I tell you the truth, I confided you in you and some shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do? And, and post the thing. Am I am I supposed to unfriend them? You know what I'm saying? Am yes. I supposed to unfriend them? Yes. Right away. But I did. Yes. I, I did. You didn't. I and didn't. I told you to. Say, listen. That was a long story. Listen. Just for Natalie to be like, you, I told you so. Listen, it's not a Ugh. I told you so moment because I don't, I'm not the type of person that wants to be right just to be right when I know, I know somebody else gets hurt right, by right. me being right. Mm -hmm. But to me, the I, it's like, Talk I remember, it's funny. It's funny because I remember, e, like, in the beginning of our friendships and stuff, you used to think that I had, I was too hard on people. You used I to did. think that, you like, was, you're though. too, no. You L were, baby. Listen, but listen, okay. li listen, listen, li listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> You used to think I was too hard on people in the way of like what my expectations were right. for people. When you keep your standards high, your life is going to reflect that. <laughs> your life is going to reflect Damn that. Damn it. That's and why my life is crumbling right exactly now with friends. Because you didn't keep your standards high enough. Damn it. And How the fuck did you fail? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't keep your standards high enough. Okay. And that's the issue is like, I expect certain things from my friends. And it's not to say that, and I'm going to give you the same in return. Mm -hmm. One thing that my friends know about me is what? That I'm loyal to the soil. Right. All right? You, hey, you don't like someone. I'm sure it's for a good reason because you're my friend. So why, what's up? Why don't why don't we like her? You know what I'm saying? What did she do to no, my friend? No, but that's not a good because sometimes they're the drama. They're the problem. That's what, no, but that's what my point is. That I only I'm I have high standards for my friends. So I right. know like, Jazz. like Jasmine. If, she, if Jasmine really does not rock with somebody, yeah. I know it's because I trust Jasmine's character. Right. So I'm not saying I'm gonna be petty. I'm gonna have to go beef with somebody or something like that, but I'm gonna listen to her. And I'm also gonna be honest if I'm like, friend, maybe you you know what I'm saying? Right. But I because I trust the type of person that Jasmine is, I know she's not gonna be out here on some petty shit. And that's right. what I'm saying. Keep your standards high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's for the problem. type of friends that you have. Because yeah. the thing is, is like that was a red flag to me. As soon as she came to me and she was like, they were crying. They were saying Boo like, who crying? Boo, like, I feel boo, so bad. Boo and talking about, oh my God, like this person, like, I feel bad because I, I really distanced myself from you because they were talking so much shit about you and saying you're this X, Y, and Z type 
type of person. I'm no, like, I can see that first you're and not. foremost, save, save the crocodile tears. That's what I told Easy. I was like, this is a save the crocodile tears. First and foremost, I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, I feel so bad now because like, you believed that you was kikiing with her. Because huh? you were you were kikiing with her and the fact that you said that this person was talking shit the entire time that that you were friends. Mm. The entire time. So for them to feel comfortable, I always think about this, for them to feel comfortable to talk so much shit about your mutual friend. Right. And why are they that comfortable? Because mm-hmm. you are engaging in exactly. it. Exactly. And then you started letting them kind of that, those thoughts get in and start, uh, you know, and spoiling your thoughts of exactly. Damn so it. now you feel bad and you only feel that bad because you were engaging it. Cause I'm not about to cry about somebody else talking shit if I didn't engage in it. Mm-hmm. Right. So I also told her that, and I was like, it's a red flag to be honest. I feel like they're fake. I feel like they're fake. I feel like they're only coming to tell you now because they're not close with that person mm-hmm. anymore. Tell me. And that's what it was, wasn't it? That's what it that's was. That's exactly baby. what it was. That's, that's what, what it was. was. And it's just like, damn it. It's okay. How the fuck did I you feel fall? like what happens is like you learn, you live and you learn. And mm-hmm. I never like none of this is that serious. This whole podcast ain't even that serious. We're not, it's not but we're it's not just, over here upset, like for right. real. We're not crying. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Life, life ain't that serious. Mm-hmm. It's just like trials and tribulations. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You go yeah. through some things, you learn, God's going to show you some things and you move on. I, one thing that I'm grateful for is you. And one thing that I'm grateful for is you. Exactly. And that's all we're, we need, We're baby. locked in. Ain't no we switching got, up. We got, our, we got our closest friends. Give me a pinky. Give me a pinky. Give me the other pinky. Give me, give me. All right. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. Give me some. Please. Give me some. Mm-hmm. Are we the drama? We weren't even in the wide. Oh, damn it. Man, we did all that for nothing. It's okay. Anyway. Are we the drama? No, we not the drama. I'm I'm, not the I drama. know. We gonna give you drama for your mama, though, right. if you... Keep on playing. Keep on playing. Keep no, on playing. honestly, I do... I, I can I can surely say that I feel like we do put in effort to try to resolve situations. We have apologized if we've ever offended people. We have done... But especially because it's not intentional, and I feel like the, with the realm of people in this world, like industry and on top of like that. Wait, I, I was even... saying something. Go ahead, baby. I was just saying that I love you. I love you, pumpkin. And I love my friends that are real friends. And I love mm-hmm. my family. And I just feel like, thank God. Thank, thank God, God for baby. them. They're amazing. Everybody's amazing. And I think that God puts people in your life for reasons and seasons. You reasons know what I'm and seasons. Reasons and seasons. And I always stand by everything happens for a reason. Even something bad happened for a reason for a good outcome. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like coming into this new year, you know what I'm saying? God was like, let me reveal Ooh. all these snakes. All at the end of the year. At all the at the, the same year. time. Same exact time. And they all wanted to hop on a bandwagon. And it got it, it showed me too, like, damn, y'all mentals really is just like, y'all seeking negativity and misery over there. And, and want to kiki in a group chat. But me, I'm seeking, I'm seeking, me, I'm seeking like, Yo, how am I going to make the next bag? And don't let me pop my shit. Because niggas was calling me broke. And I'm like, damn, what? why you got to cover my pockets? But if you want a pocket watch, let's play Big Bang. Take a look. And you know what? All right. Let me step. Reel it in, baby. Reel it in. Okay. Reel it in, sweetheart. Reel it in. <laughs> don't need, we don't need to do that. Because that's. We don't need to. God yeah, we don't need to do that. Bless you. The reason why God blesses you is because the type of person you are, period. Mm-hmm. Period. And as long as you keep that energy. Right. And you don't let, you don't let low vibrational people bring out low vibrational energy from you. You're going to continue to be blessed. You mm-hmm. don't, I'm not, by, I'm not watching other people's blessings. Right. I'm not watching other people's pockets. That's weird. It's how do so, I have time to, how what? do I have time to focus on myself and my bag mm-hmm. if i'm over here watching your bag and asking god why they gave why he gave you that bag mm. that's weird it's, it's why weird. you being weird to me yeah why so you being weird to me absolutely mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Baby, i'm not gonna lie though it did hurt my feelings i know i'm i'm, I'm really like i just feel like everybody acted fake you know what i'm saying and Don't i just cry, feel baby. like no, no 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 i just i just feel like it's just, it's just so hard to find a good friend around here. I know, baby. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you 
fucking lying, I bitch. Know. I don't need this my baby, and that's it. We started as best friends, and we gonna end as fucking and lovers. Fucking and lovers. Fucking lovers. Fucking lovers. Oh, lovers. I love our podcast. I love our podcast. I love Just you. Just between us. Just between us. I don't give a fuck anymore because this is the version you don't want of me because Nick everybody can attest I don't even gotta say shit I, I'm just saying that they lucky they didn't get 20 17 easy 2017 easy they got 2023 20, easy that's yeah. a big evolved and because a lot of niggas would have got their, they they would have got their ass beat. If mm. we want to be real, but I'm not in real you. life, in not re- just not, yeah. not just talking about it on social media. You know what I'm saying? In real life, but I'm not like that anymore, and I don't have to seek that. You have to go that low and call me names because you hurting about your pockets. I thought, wait, you, you, you mad? Hurting? I don't get how people be mad about what they did, and then they get mad that you reacted to what they did. N- no, not even react. It's questioning. And then when I try to engage, it's still they mad, they mad. And now I'm mad. It's like, oh, how could you talk about me? How could you talk about me? She's so selfish. Uh, anyway. Come on now. Anyway. Anyway, listen. Yeah. 2024. What does Damn. that look like for us? Ah, uh, no new friends. No new friends. No, no, no. No, don't say that, baby. Uh-uh. Ain't no, you gotta understand my trauma. I I'm know, at this point traumatized, no, what, bro. I'm baby, traumatized. Hey, nigga, why I don't want none of y'all wait, niggas. No, why y'all. did I just do all that preaching? Why did I just do all that preaching? I don't want God, none of them. God's not telling you. God's not telling you to not okay. have friends anymore. Yes, he is. Listen, I'm going to tell you why. God's telling you to be selective with your no, friends. No, 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 no. No, he not. Because there was a story. Wasn't that story when there was a guy in the ocean? And God, you know, saying the guy in the ocean about to drown. Then the boat come. And what the boy say? He say, oh, it's all good. God got me. Then he, he, he drowned in the ocean trying to swim. And then an a, a, a airplane come by. Y'all know the damn story. And or whatever. Then he drowned. Hand out of my camera. You know what I'm saying? But he, then he ends up drowning. He ends up going to heaven because he's a god fear man. And then he gets to heaven. He like, God, where was you? You didn't have me. He was like, I sent you a boat, a plane. Like, come on. So God is literally telling me, like, hey, man, say, man, easy. I keep showing you signs of all of these fake people. Why do you keep letting them in your life? You know what? Focus on you. Focus on that bag I keep blessing you with. And that's all you need. You got a best friend right there that live with you, too. And she on the same level as you. Leave them niggas alone. Leave them alone. Damn it. You not understanding the message, easy? He been telling me. He been telling me. He, that's what he's saying for the new year. My dumb ass been seeking friendship. Now I'm going to continue to, to, to seek that money. That money. Because shit ain't going to be funny when you broke. <laughs> You're a hot mess. <laughs> You're God a hot did. mess. That is not what God's telling you. But God right, did. I'm going to let you interpret your own messages. Mm-hmm. And did. And did. And will. And will. Mm, amen. Say and amen. And will. Listen, can, I, can I get an amen? Amen. I say think, amen. Say amen. I do think that <laughs> we just use the lessons that you're learning right. and apply that to any future person that comes into your life. Um, may, I I love saying this. I said it once. I'm going to say it again. Say it, baby. Make your friends play the long game. Amen. Make them play the long game because that's how you really see people's true colors before mm-hmm. you get too close to them. Right. Don't put your heart into it immediately. Put your back into put it. Put your back into it. You can do it. Put your back into it. Mm-hmm. Take your time with these friends. Yeah, man. You know, and I think that's a message for sure for you because, like, you just jump into, like, oh, my God. You just... I love this friendship, you know? Yeah. And it's like, no, make them play the long game, you know? Chill. Just chill. Chill. Say it chill. I got that, baby. I definitely, I understood the assignment. I'm going to leave these motherfuckers alone. All right. And then I'm going I'm to chill while doing it. And I'm going to play the long game. Yes. Definitely play the long Absolutely. game. Absolutely. So when I remind you next time, when you meet someone, you're like, baby, but they're so cool. What are you going to say? Bitch, bye. No. <laughs> Fuck out my face, bitch. I got a friend. Mm. I got a friend. <laughs> no. You're going to say, I'm playing I'm the long game. Oh, I'm playing, playing the, the long, long game. game. Playing the long game. Playing the long game. Well, anyway, I hope y'all learned something. <sighs> I learned a lot to play the long game. Play the long game. Yes. And, and be a good friend, too. Because if you're doing any of these shisty things that we said in this podcast, mm. you know you're not being a good friend. Indeed. Indeed. So, thank you guys 
for tuning in to Just, Just Between, Between Us podcast. podcast. I'm your host, Easy. And I'm Natalie O. Tell baby. And we are the new and improved 1 million subscribers. 1.3 podcast, YouTubers, entrepreneurs, actors, entrepreneurs, models, <laughs> artists. Cause Just, we do music. We do a lot of things. I mean, we do. What you do? Let me let me pop my shit before we go. Hold on, that now. Let me just let me toot your horn. You don't work with Rihanna. You don't work with Cardi B. You don't work with maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> You done really did your shit. Now you an artist. I mean, those are the big brands. I could keep going if you want. But the fact that you've Nordstrom, done. Nordstrom, that was my fave. That was your favorite one? Nordstrom, that was a fire one. And for you to really just like be there for their like, you know, grand opening and their new store was amazing. Yeah. Like, I'm so proud of you, Nat. You, you keep baby. on thriving. And the, the way that you're inspiring the world, not only are you, like I said, a beautiful face, you got a beautiful heart. And uh-huh. God has been blessing you. And I hope you keep inspiring little girls, boys, they, themers, whoever it is out there. You know what I'm saying? And, and do you and be the best version of yourself, you know? Because you're amazing. You're Natalie O. Riding around with Limited. The Rolly Froze. Get it for I don't got mine on. With the smoke body looking like I got it done. A minute over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 2024. No, even left for dead. I'm in the pole. I don't even need my lima. Cause I don't know. Body looking like I got it done. I bend it over. Yeah, yeah. So I've been spinning Rex on Rex. All right, I'm done. You better know my lyrics, baby. Don't play with it. Don't play with I it. I won't. Lord. And the fact that you do music. 24 is about to be crazy. Ooh, I can't wait. Because like I said, bro, the fact that you're doing music. What the fuck can't you do? And I got a clothing line oh, dropping. Yeah, damn. Oh, my God. Can we say? I, I'm going to let you do your thing, man. I ain't going to say too much. I ain't going to toot your own horn. You know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all really watching what we got going on on yes. our, you know, Snapchat, yes. on our personal YouTube channels, mm-hmm. on Instagram, mm-hmm. you know, because we love y'all. We want y'all to be, you know, along for the ride. My baby was in Cosmopolitan Magazine. Damn, baby. Chill. God did. God, God did. did. My baby <laughs> did a Snapchat commercial to them. To them. My baby. Do you try to think of like what well, damn what my baby do? Work with Netflix. Yeah, I work for Netflix. Was in Forbes 30 under 30. Oh, Forbes 30. Don't play but with you know what? With. This isn't even just to like rub salt into, you know, any haters wounds. Mm-hmm. This is just to show you whenever you really live in light Mm -hmm. and in love what Mm -hmm. happens and when you're really doing stuff for the love of it and not just for the success yeah because we didn't start doing this thinking like oh my god we're doing it to get here you know this shit was fun and it still is fun it is fun it is so fun and and god just continues to bless us and we try to spread our blessings with other people as much as possible and god said "Mm -mm, reel it in no. Wind it up. No, God's not saying that. Okay. So I'm a, God is a little ghetto. God is a little. And no, you're a little ghetto. You're God, a little ghetto. And God created me. So <laughs> ghetto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm dead. That's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. I was just saying that basically God, you know, God continues to bless you when you bless other people. So you mm-hmm. don't it's not about reeling it in. Mm-hmm. Lord. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's about being selective. That is what the moral of the story is. Mm -hmm. The moral of this podcast is be selective. selective. And when God is bringing that boat because you're drowning, get on the boat. Mm -hmm. Get on the boat and realize it's your friend drowning you. Yeah. Get a new friend. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? Not my ain't, friend. Ain't that your friend? <laughs> ain't that your friend? With that being said, y'all, Ooh. thank y'all so much. Ooh. She gonna put that on the next album, next song. <laughs> thank y'all so thank much for you. tuning in. We love y'all so much. I'm your host, Easy, And I'm Natalie Odell. And this is... Just Just Between Between Us podcast. We love each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach 1 million million subscribers. subscribers. Be on the lookout for some million dollar content real soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Boop. Ready? Boop. Boop.
<laughs> all right y'all we love you thank you so much thank for guys. tuning in and if you are just listening in right now just know that there is a whole visual you visual. can see us on youtube right now on youtube out right now thank you guys we love y'all peace